Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, September 10th to the 11th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Cappy's Sun, Moon, Rising, oh, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cappies, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to get a channeled message for you in just one moment. But first, I'm going to grab some cards. Yeah. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you. Going on for Capricorn. What's going on for my Capricorns? What is up? Okay, one more card, please. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of swords and the queen of cups all right capricorn let's get this message from spirit <laughs> and then we can begin Stay focused on yourself, Capricorn. Take in the breath, they're saying. Take in the breath. So I'm feeling a lot of breathing, a lot of, um, if you guys meditate, breathe. Breathing's important. See yourself from a different perspective, Capricorn. Look at yourself from a different perspective. They're wanting to bring you your attention to something about yourself that you don't realize is there. This is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. They're wanting to bring this to your attention because they want you to, it's like, build upon it, express more of it. They just said linger in it. It's, it, it's like play with it. This, I don't know what it is. They're just saying play with it. Okay. All right, Knight of Pentacles. So, you're feeling good, Capricorn, with the Nine of Pentacles here. You're feeling as if you're going somewhere. It's like you're listening to the universe. The, the universal call, they just said. You're listening to the universal call. <laughs> really? All right, so I'm looking at the Wheel of Fortune and they're giving me the song, the wheels on the bus go round and round. They're so comical sometimes. Timing, timing is just right. 
They're saying when the timing is just right with this wheel of fortune and with this universal call. Now, something could be at a distance here with the Six of Swords. I feel like you're looking for peace. You're looking for a peaceful place within. You're doing a lot of self-reflection within the Six of Swords. But I feel there's a lot of learning that leads to peace. Now, there's a Queen of Cups here. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They could be somebody around you or somebody that's at a distance with the Six of Swords across from it. But let's clarify. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Swords. Are you worried about timing? Are you worried about turning the wheel, getting on the wheel? Because something's making you anxious. Star. Yeah, this is destiny with the star and the wheel. But something's making you nervous. Perhaps you feel um, you're not ready for something because you haven't healed yet. Okay. Now, this could be temporary, this Nine of Swords. It's anxiety, right? It comes and goes. We all have it. Because I feel like you're very confident here. You're very abundant. You're feeling good. Listening to your intuition. I mean, our mind gets the best of us sometimes. That's for sure. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. You got Eight, Nine, Ten. Interesting, because you get six, eight, nine, ten. I wonder if a seven or four, two nines. Tell me. The king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Usually Libra for me. You could have that in your chart. I feel like you're... <clears throat> Within this healing process you're doing, I mean, we're always healing something, right? But I feel like right now you're figuring out what needs to be cut out of your life. What doesn't serve you any longer? Clarify this King of Swords. Yeah. A broken heart. So this is what this anxiety is stemming from. It's this broken heart. And it's like you want to just cut it out, but you have to heal from it. You can't just cut it out and leave it, right? So you have to go through the process. The devil. There you are, Cappies, in all your glory. So this is, this is about looking at the shadow self. And it's interesting because the nine of swords here, you see how dark these cards are. And I feel that this is this is what's making you anxious. We all have our shadow selves, right? We all expand the most from um, our shadow self. We learn the most from our shadow self. So don't be anxious about looking within. Because whatever you find is going to lead to major growth here. Whether that be, now the devil is temptation. The devil is addiction. The devil can be codependency, toxicity. You could be looking at past relationships or this, this specific relationship here that broke your heart. Clarify this um, devil card here. Or there could be a strong connection with this, well, let me clarify. Clarify the, the devil card, please, for Capricorn. A hangman. 
it's like waiting. Why are you waiting to look at this side of yourself? Take advantage of this hangman and look at it from different angles. Oh, wasn't that your advice in the beginning? Look at yourself from a different perspective. And it is a good thing. That's what I'm saying. If you look at this, there's like a prize to be had within this shadow. Tell me about the Six of Swords here. Whoa. Yeah, something could be at a distance. Soulmate Twin Flame Energy. Page of Wands. So this is peace. This is your peace. This is good news. But also optimism. I always get optimism with this card. It's like I'm ready for the adventure. I'm ready. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. I feel like you're going to this Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Who is this Queen of Cups? Ooh, this could be something that's hidden from you. Cancer Pisces for me as a reader. The Empress. Taurus Libra energy. Hmm. Okay, there's some hidden aspect here. What is this hidden aspect? And I feel like this is the same person. Clarify the moon again. Ha, no way. The moon and the sun. Twin flame energy. Maybe that's what's hidden. That could be what's hidden. Interesting. Very interesting. This makes sense with the Wheel of Fortune. This makes sense with that devil energy. There's always that in twin flame relationships. Um, in the star, the two of cups. Wow. Look at that, the lovers. Gemini energy. No way. Okay, now, with the lover's card, Capricorn, I always get a third energy. They're telling me this third energy in the lover's card is like, okay, if this is your twin, right, you have them, you have you, and then there's an energy that is created together. It's that third energy, which, which makes it stronger and it doesn't come in between. That is the first time I've ever gotten that. Wow. Okay. All right. So what is your advice for Capricorn? What is your advice? What is your advice for Capricorn regarding this situation? Wow, there's a lot here. What is your advice for Capricorn? There's a lot of happiness here, a lot of intuition, judgment, reunion, reunion of souls, reunion. Listen to your intuition and more importantly, call on Archangel Michael and listen to his messages. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Ten of Pentacles. This is happiness, abundance, marriage, loyalty, 
This is building a legacy. Oh my God, my card, these cards are so worn. So they're wanting you to feel this abundance, Capricorn. They're wanting you to, to embody this energy, this Ten of Swords energy. They're wanting you to listen to your intuition here and listen to the angels connect. Get in touch with your shadow self here because there's much to be gained. I'm telling you there's a gift here. Clarity and truth. It's like you're going to gain clarity and truth from this shadow. It's the gift of the shadow. It's the strangest thing. Well, not strange. It's, it's almost like it's the epitome of a blessing in disguise here. Right? Wow. All right, Capricorn. I hope this helps. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. You have yourself a fantastic day, Cappies, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the Dailies. Namaste.